All right, in this video, I'm going to show you an alternative way to uh, show music progress. We have a hexagon right here, and if we start to play, and I'm just going to cut that down a little bit. But as you can see, we have a progress bar back here that takes the shape of a hexagon. Um, it's actually a little hidden. It's really just a circular arc. I'm going to mute this completely. There we go. The music's still playing, and by the time the end of this song gets around, let's see if I can speed that up. Can I speed that up anyway? Um, I'm just going to go into my app real quick, and I'm going to speed this on along close to the end, as you can see right there. And now the uh, white line should have filled up even more, as you can see. So, you know, it goes all the way around. And by the time the song's done, it will be back here where it started. So here's the trick. It requires uh, using the clear paint option, the way I'm doing it here at least. I'm sure there's other ways you can do it. But uh, here's what I have going on. All right, I just got a basic music player, nothing. Uh, that's the one that comes pre-installed with KOWP. And then I have a, a circle slice, and I have it like behind everything. This circle slice, and I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, go to here, and I'm going to hide everything else so you can see it. There's the circle slice, and this circle slice is set. I actually need to, um, you don't have to do that because the hexagon's out here, but uh, if I bump this up to like 600, typically like half of that will give you a point, a solid pie shape. But anyway, uh, so how am I making this thing move the way it's moving? I'm just adjusting the angle and the angle, the code for that. Basically, we're taking the position of the music track in seconds. We're dividing it by the total length of the music track in seconds. So you're getting like a uh, fraction, like what percent of the seconds out of the whole seconds are we have we covered? And we multiply that by 360 so we can cover 360 degrees. So you're finding a fraction of 360. And by the time, you know, when you get to the end of the track, the position will be equal to this. So when you take, you know, a number over itself, you get 1, and 1 times 360 is 360. So it would uh, fill up the entire 360-degree uh, circle. But um, in this case, it's looking like it's filling up a hexagon. So, you know, that this is hidden behind everything. I'm going to bump that down a little bit just so it don't pop outside the circle. And from here, what else? So let me unhide that. And once I unhide it, now you can't even see anything. And you might say, okay, what's going on here? Uh, it's something about the preview. You know, we can't even see the hexagon right now. And it's because I have the hexagon set to clear. But if I come to this hexagon, um, if I go to paint and I just cut the clear off, I have a stroke on it, by the way. So let me just go to normal. And um, you can make the stroke bigger or smaller, however you wish. So something like that. Um, of course, you don't have to have a hexagon. We can make it whatever shape we want. Um, a triangle. Of course, you'd have to do some adjusting there. Okay, let's put that. I don't, well, you can do whatever shape you want as long as, what's another good one? Um, okay, a rectangle. <laughs> or you could do a square, whatever. Um, let me bump this on up. And I'll make it a little bit less wide, almost like a square. It pretty much is going to be a square. But uh, yeah, there you go. Now check this one out. It might not cover all of that because of the fact, let me bump the stroke down a little bit. And you have to make sure that circle arc comes out here and covers this corner. But now we have to remember to come back and apply the clear. Because really what clear is doing is it's going to clear out whatever is in this layer. That's how I understand it at least. And notice I don't have the circle arc in this group. All I have is um, the circle here, you know, the, the background to this little guy. And then I have that rectangle, which we can't see anymore because I applied the clear option. If we save this, go back to the home screen, and now we have a rectangle whose progress is filling up. But really, remember what I showed you? There's really just a circle arc back here that's just going around. And we're using the clear option with a stroke to obtain this shape. And like I said, you can add any shape you want. And uh, this was a subscriber request. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's a neat way to show progress of a music, um, music status at least. And uh, yeah, there you have it. That's how you can take any shape and um, apply a uh, track status or track link to it.
And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.